Hello everyone, my name is Yusuf Asmal Beter from class 4B and this is my presentation. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we agree that we are able and should express everything that we face. That expression we deliver using words of a language that can be understood by people. Not only that, when we say something, ask for something, that is two of many expressions that we use on daily terms. We give impressions of information, we give something, we ask for something, giving orders, or even the opposite. We receive some information, we receive some orders, or we get to inform something because sometimes someone asks us. Those kinds of expressions every day in our life, and it is called speech acts. While well, speech act itself is referred to an act that is one performed while making an utterance, for example, giving order and making promises. But occasionally, people tend to neglect the other speaker's saying or refusal. It happens when the hearer does not realize of what the speaker's intention. In life, we do disagree on something and delivers the refusing response. Sometimes also, it is not quite right to refuse, for example, your closest one like your mother, because you are trying not to insult her or trying to not make her heart broken. You need to make an appropriate refusal to reject a request. It will be different when you have to refuse a close friend because you can also you can just simply give them the truth or making a simple excuses that you cannot fulfill his or her request or his or their offer. Refusal and rejection can be defined as disapproval of the speaker's intention. There are strategies of refusal that you can apply with a structure in sequence. This research is intended to give some broad explanation about how we can refuse the strategy and what kind of strategies are on in what branches branches of refusing response. This study is a case study conducted by based on the descriptive qualitative method. The participants were 39 people who are divided into three groups. Indonesian native speakers, Indonesian EFL learners, and American native speakers. And based on the data, Indonesian EFL learners tend to use their native culture in refusing requests, offer, invitation, and suggestion. The most different strategy used among the three groups are directly say no and put the blame on the third party. Most NSS easily say no directly when they want to refuse compared to INS and IES. Furthermore, most INS and IES use the strategy of putting the blame on a third party. It means that IELs are still influenced more by their native language and culture rather than their target language. It is all from me. Thank you.